Hello, my dear assets. Our minds have been exploded by how we analyze transactions, especially those related to adjusting journal entries. But no matter, today our topic is much lighter than our previous topics. And I'm pretty sure that you have already mastered journalizing, posting, and adjusting. Ready? Let's start! Today, we are going to study the sixth step in the accounting cycle, the preparation of worksheet. Now, what is the purpose of worksheet? It is used by accountants to simplify adjusting and closing process. It can also reveal error according to Baliada. Through worksheet, we can conveniently prepare the financial statements. So how is it prepared? First write the heading the business name worksheet and the date for the end of the period next list down all the accounts you used in the ledger including all new accounts as a result of adjusting write also the corresponding code the accounts listed are arranged starting from assets to liabilities equity revenue and expenses next enter all the ending balances from the ledger Make sure that they are in the respective debit side and credit side. Compute for the total debit and credit balances. Then, encode all the adjustments made with their reference. The reference may be the letter or number of the transaction, like this. Then, compute for the total debit and credit balances. Next, amounts from the trial balance are adjusted, may be increased or decreased, and entered to the adjusted trial balance together with all other unaffected accounts. For example, the supplies account has a balance of 36,000 pesos in the unadjusted trial balance. Due to adjustment of 6,000 credit, it was decreased to 30,000 pesos. Then, compute for the total debit and total credit balances. Next, we will now prepare the accounts for the income statement. We will just include all the revenue and expenses accounts. Then, compute for the total revenue and total expenses. The difference between the two is the profit. If revenue is greater than expenses, profit is earned. But if expenses are greater than revenue, there is loss. Then, add the profit to the debit side to come up with a balance between debit and credit amounts. Lastly, we are going to prepare the balance sheet. We will focus on the assets, liabilities, and equity. Just enter the amount. Get the total debit and total credit balances. So as you can see, it is not balanced. So we need to add back the 70,000 pesos profit to credit balance. Now we have a balanced debit and credit. Now we have prepared the worksheet. Isn't it simple? It's your turn now. I want you to prepare a worksheet that I have prepared for you in your learning modules. Good luck! That's all for this topic. Once again, this is Sir Jamari Mangiat. In a life full of liabilities, always remember to become an asset. If you don't want to be an asset, don't try to be everyone's liability. Have a nice day, assets.